I'm starting a video documentary of the building of a brand new battery pack to take the world famous Zombie 222 to 200 miles an hour, making it the first street legal electric car to ever do so. We're going to attempt that April the 1st at the Texas Mile in Beeville, Texas. So this is the trunk area of the Zombie, and as you can see, there's no batteries. This is where they used to be. Looks a little chaotic. We have decided to switch to a new battery with more power to give us everything we need to set that world record. We have a partnership with a company called Voltabox that has a battery factory in Austin, Texas, as well as another factory in Germany. And they have graciously decided to supply us with enough batteries, as you can see, two pallet loads, to push this car over 200 miles an hour. So let's take a look at what they've given us. This is the cell that was used in our battery pack previously. We had 960 of these lithium polymer cells, very good cells but we don't think that we had enough to really give us the power we needed. Uh, as you know, getting faster and faster is almost an exponential climb in, in horsepower. This is a battery module from Voltabox. So they don't sell the individual cells. They fabricate these module blocks that you then interconnect. And inside these module blocks are A123-26650 high-powered lithium ion cells. So if you look down in here, you can see the green. Those are the A123-26650 cells. Um, they're placed in a uh, configuration where these cells are already in series, four of them. So there's your 4S stepping up the voltage. And then the rest of the cells in the pack are in parallel. We have 56 of these modules that we're going to install in the car. This pack will be much larger Okay, so it's going to stay uh, not just in the trunk, but it's going to have to be extended into the back cargo area. And we may even put some of the cells up in the front for better uh, load balancing and weight distribution. Um, each of these individual modules get their own uh, BMS boards. So they do some of their own load balancing at the individual module level. And then there's a more sophisticated BMS to connect the whole system together. Uh, this pack is going to produce over 3,800 amps. At, for 10 second draw at 400 volts and uh, that should if you do the math give us everything we need to keep our horsepower levels up and torque levels up and be the first guys to hit 200 miles an hour the next big challenge is fabricating a system for the installation in the zombie but we're going to get on it stay tuned it's going to be exciting